Welcome back, welcome back. Today, we have another really exciting episode of some sneaker restoration. I'm going to be working on some icing, but the cool part about today's video is I'm going to be comparing and contrasting a few different products. As you can see, I have three pairs of sneakers in front of me. The first pair of sneakers that I have, this pair of sneakers is actually the first pair of sneakers that I will be de-yellowing for a client. As you can see, the rubber on the toes is a little bit yellowed on both sides, and the icy portion of the outsole has also been yellowed. I'm going to be working on de-yellowing the outsole as well as the rubber portion of the toes. With the Fire Red 5s, I'm going to be using Angelus Soulbright. I spoke with my client who has seen my results from previous videos and photos. He knows that the Angelus Soulbright works and wanted to stick with that. Now that brings us to the two pairs that I have in front of me. Two pairs of Jordan 11s. The first pair I got in a recent unboxing, some Jordan 11 Gamma Blues. These are in a size 11 and a half, and you can tell that that sole has been yellowed pretty significantly. We're going to see if we can clear that up. The second pair is a pair of Jordan 11 Lowe's, and these are the emerald greens. You can see that the outsole of these also has some yellowing. Not quite as significant as the Gamma Blues, but definitely noticeable. Now with both of these pairs of sneakers, I'm going to be using Angel Soulbright, which comes in a just shy of four ounce bottle. What I'm going to be doing on both pairs of Jordan 11s, the left sneaker will act as a control. I'll be using the Angelus Soulbright. We know that the results with the Soulbright have been very good so far with all of the icings that I've done but now it's time to test out some other products and see what types of results we can get. One product, which is rather infamous in sneaker restoration, is Salon Care 40. Salon Care 40 is a hair product that actually helps with the deoxidation process on yellowed soles and midsoles. A lot of people have been asking me if I've been using the Salon Care 40, and I haven't been because I had the Soul Bright and I was working really well, but now I wanna see how just this general hair care product can work in comparison to a Soulbrite, which was developed specifically for treating sneakers. The other product that I will be using is Raleigh's Restorations Ice Cream. Raleigh's Restorations is a wonderful YouTube channel that does a lot of sneaker restoration work, whether it be sole swaps, repaints, re-dyes, or de-yellowings. They have their ice cream product, which works wonders from the videos that I've seen. But now I wanna try it out for myself and see if it's superior to Soulbrite or the Salon Care 40. On the right sneaker for each pair, I will be trying a different product. On the emerald greens, I'm gonna try the Salon Care 40. On the Gamma Blues, I'm gonna try Raleigh's Restorations ice cream. We're gonna see which of these products works the fastest, which one produces the strongest results. Stay tuned as we begin our icing process. Alrighty, we got all of our shoes sauced up at this point in time. One thing that I did notice is that the Salon Care 40 is easily the thinnest of all the solutions. It's a lot more runny, has a little bit more of a clear consistency, definitely a little bit more difficult to kind of maintain its position. The ice cream from Raleigh's Restorations is also a little bit more runny than the Soulbrite. However, it is a lot less runny than the Salon Care 40. Let's get our sneakers in the setup and see what we can accomplish over the next few days here.
We are checking in so we can do an official 48 hour check-in for the three pairs that we got icing right now. The first pair, this pair of Jordan 5s, you might remember is only Angela Solbright. The second two pairs, we have a pair of Air Jordan 11 Gamma Blues. The left shoe, which has been treated with Angela Solbright in the right shoe, which was treated with Rally's Restoration Ice Cream. Our other pair of sneakers is this pair of Jordan 11 Low Emerald Greens. The left shoe treated with Angela Solbright. The right shoe treated with Salon Care 40. We're going to see which product does the best with the D yellowing, AKA icing. Let's clean off these sneakers real quick. Right, now that we've given each of these sneakers a pretty quick clean, we're gonna take a little bit more of an in-depth look. The first pair, of course, Jordan 5 Fire Reds. Now these ones right here, I only used Angela Solbright and the soles are looking substantially better. You can see that kind of icy blue color coming back in. It's looking pretty solid if I do say so myself. Now on the toes here, there's definitely still some yellowing that needs to be worked out, but I was focusing more on the outsole and I'm really, really pleased with the results there. So I'm sure if I focus on the toes here, we're gonna be able to get those toes lightened up in no time. Overall, getting the results that we wanna see after 48 hours, pretty happy so far. Now these other two pairs here that I have, you might remember that I'm actually doing a little bit of a test. Both of the left sneakers have been treated with Angelus Solbright and the right sneakers have been treated with Riley's Restoration Ice Cream for the Gamma Blue 11s and Salon Care 40 for the Emerald Green 11 Lows. If we take a quick look here at the Gamma 11s, now the bottoms of both are looking pretty, pretty even, if I do say so myself, as far as the icing is concerned. What we do need to take a look at is the toes here. Now on the right shoe that was treated with the Riley's Restoration Ice Cream, you can see it's a little bit more yellow over on this front area in comparison to the area on the left shoe treated with Angela Solbright. If we compare the lateral aspects of the sneakers, you can see along the heel here, it's a little bit more iced on this right shoe in comparison to the left shoe, which seems to be a little bit less iced. This may have had to do with the placement of the sneakers while they were in the setup. We're gonna vary up the positioning slightly to see if we can get a little bit of a different reflection from the light during the next 48 hour session. Last but not least, we have the Jordan 11 Low Emerald Green. Same story goes for these ones. The left shoe, which is shown currently on the upper, was treated with Angela Solbright. The right shoe on the lower portion was treated with Salon Care 40. Now, one of the immediate things that I recognize is that the sneaker that was treated with the Angela Solbright seemed to have a little bit more residue at the end of everything, almost as if the Salon Care 40 had kind of evaporated off. I also noticed that the Angela Solbright was a little bit more glossy in its finish. It almost seemed like it had de-yellowed the shoe a little bit more to give it a little bit more of the kind of iridescent finish that we're looking for in these soles. Overall, they look relatively similar. There's no drastic thing that would convince me one way or the other. The Angela Solbright did a little bit of a better job after 48 hours. We're gonna get these sneakers iced up again, back underneath the light, another 48 hour session coming up. So checking in real quick, we are officially after four full days of icing all of these sneakers. Let's get all these sneakers wiped down, take a quick comparison of them all. We have all of our shoes completely wiped down. I haven't really given them too much time to dry out completely, so there's gonna be a little bit of sauce on during these comparisons, but first pair here, Jordan Red 5s. You can see that the toe caps, which started off in a much more yellowed state, have been improving. That has not been the sole focus of what's been going on recently with the icing process here. I have been focusing primarily on the soles, which are looking a hell of a lot better, if you ask me. These started off yellow, 
Now you can tell that they're icy blue. They are looking really, really good. We're gonna focus a little bit more on the toe caps for the next icing session to make sure that we get these things looking back to 100%. Next pair here, Jordan 11 Low Emeralds. There wasn't a ton of yellowing on these to begin with, but there was just enough that it was worthwhile to go through and give these guys a few sessions. The left sneaker, the top sneaker, has been treated using Angel Soul Bright. The bottom sneaker has been tre treated using Salon Care 40. There does not appear to be any crazy significant differences. I will be honest, I think that the Soul Bright is looking a little bit better, and I think it worked a little bit faster, but overall, they're looking very, very similar. I don't think that there's a huge difference between the two. The last pair for comparison here is a pair of Jordan 11 Gamma Blues. These also came in looking rather yellowed and you can see that now that outsole is looking a lot more icy blue on both the right and the left sneaker. Again, left sneaker treated with Angela's Soul Bright, right shoe is treated with Raleigh's Restoration Ice Cream. Both of these sneakers are looking really, really good. They're looking a lot better than where they started. You can see that there's still a little bit of white on both of the sneakers, which means that there's still some chemical processing happening in there. But overall, these are looking a ton better than where we started. And again, not a huge difference between Raleigh's Ice Cream and Angela's Soul Bright, in my personal opinion. So the last step of our process here is to go through and again, put these guys into the oven. Don't worry, not a real oven, just the indoor setup where they're underneath the UV light to get iced. We're gonna do one more 48 hour session for a total of six full days. We'll take some final comparisons once these guys have been pulled out. I'm at the end of my third 48 hour session with the three pairs that I've been working on. Why don't I go ahead and grab them so I can show you guys what the final results look like. All of these sneakers have now been wiped down I also took a wet brush and just kind of rinsed them down too to try and get any of the remaining sole sauce off. Let's go through and check out the results now. Our first pair here, some fire red fives. These fire red fives were suffering from some yellowing. These fire red fives were suffering from some yellowing along the white rubber portion of the toe there, which you can see has cleared up almost completely. There's still ever so slight tinges here and there, but overall you can tell they look a heck of a lot better. The bottoms were also pretty yellow, but you can tell that that icy blue has been totally restored. There's a couple of parts that appear a little bit more dull on the heels where there's a little bit more heel drag. But other than that, that icy blue looks a ton better. I think that these restored really, really nicely. That's to the help of Angela Solbright. The next pair that we need to take a look at are these Jordan 11 Low Emerald Greens. Now these were suffering from some yellowing on the outsole of both sneakers, and I did a little bit more of an experimental treatment. The right sneaker on the top here was treated using Salon Care 40, and the bottom sneaker was treated using Angela Soul Bright. As you can tell, both of these sneakers look pretty much the same. There doesn't seem to be a major difference on either one as far as yellowing is concerned. Both of them seem to have cleared up rather nicely. One thing I did notice is the Angela Soul Bright seemed to clear up the left sneaker a tad bit quicker than the Salon Care 40 did. I also appreciated the fact that Angela Soul Bright is a tad more viscous. When I was applying it, it didn't run all over the place quite as much. It made it a little bit easier to work with and avoid the spots that I wanted to avoid while making sure I was getting a nice thick coat on the spots that I wanted to get on there. I don't think that Salon Care 40 is a bad option, especially because as far as the price point it is concerned, it works really, really well. Due to ease of access and price, I think Salon Care 40 would be a wonderful option in a situation where you needed to ice up some soles. It's a little bit harder to work with, but that might be a pretty fair trade as far as the price per ounce is concerned. The last pair that we need to check out is our Jordan 11 Gamma Blues. The right shoe, again, the top shoe in this situation, was treated using Raleigh's Restoration Ice Cream. 
The bottom shoe, the left shoe, was treated using Angelus Solbright. This is about 20 minutes after these sneakers have been wiped down and had a brush with water wiped on them to try and get off any residue. You can see that this top shoe that was treated with Raleigh's Restoration ice cream still has a little bit more cloudiness. From what I've been told, that means that the chemical reaction is still occurring. So I believe that that's something that will clear up. On the bottom shoe here, the one that was treated with Angelus Solbright, you can see that there is some clouding going on, but overall, it seems to have cleared up a little bit more. On the top shoe treated with the ice cream, you can see it's a little bit more milky through this kind of midfoot carbon shank in comparison to the Angelus Solbright, which is a little bit more translucent. It's easier to see through. The yellowing appears to be pretty much the same on both sneakers. And I think that there's just a hair of extra cloudiness within the shoes that were treated with Raleigh's Restoration ice cream. But that could also just be because there's more chemical reactions still going on in there. I think we're gonna have to take a look at a, in about 12 hours to see any sort of comparison between the two of these and see how they really look. So we are checking in. It's about 12 hours after the video that we took last night. These Gamma Blue 11s completely done icing at this point in time. Again, they're both looking really, really good. Both the right shoe, which was treated with Raleigh's Restoration ice cream sole sauce, is looking very, very solid. And the left shoe, which was treated with Angelus Solbright, is also looking really good. The one major difference I've noticed between the two, and this is something that I pointed out when I was doing the review last night, is that it seems to be a little bit more milky on the sole that used Raleigh's Restoration sole sauce ice cream. It seems to be a little bit more milky in this midfoot portion for the right shoe, which we used the ice cream from Raleigh's Restoration on. The rest of the shoes seem to be pretty comparable. I would almost dare to say that there's a tiny bit more yellowing on the sneaker that we used Raleigh's Restoration with, but it's really negligible. I don't think that there's anything that's too devastatingly crazy. If you were to show me these two shoes and ask me if there's anything wild going on with them, I would tell you that they looked exactly the same. I can't say one is better than the other when it comes to Raleigh's Restoration Ice Cream and Angela's Solbright because the results that they produced took just about the same amount of time and they look just about the same. A couple of things to consider when you're choosing which sole sauce is right for you. Big factor for most people may be price. I spent $40 and two cents on 12 ounces of Angela's Solbright, which works out to about $3 and 34 cents per ounce. The Raleigh's Restoration ice cream, it was $47 and 30 cents for 16 ounces, which works out to roughly $2 and 96 cents per ounce. The volume 40 cream was $19.19 for a 16 ounce bottle. It came up to about $1.20 per ounce. I did purchase one more product, which hasn't even come in yet. It's been over two weeks and I just got the shipping email about two days ago. That product is Fabe Soul Sauce. Fabe Soul Sauce goes for $49.99 for a 16 ounce bottle, which works out to roughly $3.12 per ounce. Unfortunately, I have no results to show you as of right now because the product hasn't even come in. If you're looking to get something really quick, probably don't wanna get Fabe Soul Sauce, because you might be waiting around for a little while. As far as the Raleigh's Restoration ice cream, their customer service was bar none. I sent them a message over their Instagram and within a few hours, the message was answered. The owner of Raleigh's Restorations, not only is he quick to respond, but he's also incredibly friendly and provides a ton of free restoration tutorials on his YouTube page. I can see how much knowledge Raleigh's Restorations has and the fact that they give out so much information for free is an excellent, excellent thing. Put customer support on top of that and I think that you're looking at a winning formula to an excellent comp. Raleigh's Restoration definitely has my support. While I didn't necessarily need to get in touch with anybody for the Angelus Solbright or the Salon Care 40, I thought that it was really cool that I could order both of them on Amazon Prime, meaning that products got to me very, very quick. I found that Angela's Soul Bright was the easiest to use as it was a little bit thicker, so it was easier to apply without having to worry about the solution running. Raleigh's Restoration ice cream was a little bit more on the runny side, but still pretty easy to work with. Salon Care 40 is a very runny product, so you have to practice with extra caution when you're utilizing the Salon Care 40 to make sure that it doesn't get into any undesirable portions of the sneaker. Overall, I think that all three products that I utilized for this video worked very, very well. I think that 
regardless of which product you want to choose, you're going to get good results as long as you follow a good process. Again, you can't go wrong with any of these products. So I would highly recommend choosing the one that best suits your needs and desires. Thank you guys so much for checking in again for this episode of Sailboats Restorations. We're gonna be doing some more projects coming up in the near future. Got a lot of things in the works. So I hope that you guys continue to tune in. Take care. I'm checking out.